So every session we deliver, whether it's in the classroom or on the water, we need a structure for that session. So something that's logical and obviously the RWA give us some guidance on that. So we're going to start by backtracking a little bit and looking at uh, the ways that people learn. So uh, the teaching kind of school teaching type people did a load of research many years ago and found out that there are three main ways of learning. Those ways of learning are visual, uh, auditory, so talking and listening, and uh, kinesthetic, which basically means doing. So our entire job and our entire aim is to be able to fulfill all three of those uh, learning styles. So by fulfilling all of those, it means we hit every type of learner. Um, and we have a model, or the RWA has a model of how we can ensure that happens basically, and that model is edicts. So you definitely wanna write this down because you're gonna need to use this throughout your entire course and all of your teaching in the future. So E is for explain. i.e. when you're starting a session, whether you're teaching tides or chart work or picking up a man overboard, stopping distances, going faster, whatever it might be, you need to explain what that session is, what the purpose of it is and what your students are going to learn. The next thing is D, which is for demo or demonstrate. So you're actually going to show them what it is that you expect from them and hopefully do an awesome demo um, so that it's really clear for them to be able to copy you. So the next one, therefore, is imitate. So after you've explained, they should have an idea of what the session is going to look like. You're then going to show them what it is you're expecting them to do. They're then going to have a go. Now the chances of them getting that right first time are fairly slim, unless they're really good or have got other experience on the water. So let them have one, two, maybe three goes. Just leave them be. As long as they're safe and in a safe environment, let them just have a crack at it and see how they get on. Once they've had those three, two or three goes, you're going to be keeping an eye on them all the time. You are going to need to offer them some kind of correction, so some way of improving. So this C is for correction. So often top tips basically to get better. Once they have those top tips, you're then going to let them try again. If you have a copy of the Power Schemes Instructor Handbook, you'll see that T in there is for training, which basically means the same thing. So let them have another go, let them have another three goes, whatever it requires for them to be able to get to the standard of the OA syllabus. Um, this may mean that they'll have a couple of goes and then they'll flip back and you need to correct them again and then they have another go and then you might need to offer them more input to, for development purposes. Once they've got to that point where they are comfortable and competent, you're then going to summarise the session. So hit the key teaching points again, check understanding before moving on to the next session. So if you now look at this and then you look at that, you will see that these things join up. So if you think visual, uh, i.e. watching things, it happens through a demonstration. Uh, explain is often auditory, uh, might be done through pictures as well, so it might be a bit of visual too. Uh, if they imitate, it's kinesthetic because they're having a go. When you correct them, that's likely to be auditory, but it could also be visual. Uh, when they have another go, we're going back to kinesthetic, and the summary can be auditory or visual. So you're looking at that as an amalgamation of the point of, of uh, edicts, as in it's not just made up, there is a purpose to it, and then the purpose is to fulfil all learning styles for our students to make sure that they get the best out of the session.